for a look at our weather. Meteorologist is always a hard word for me to say. I'm very sorry. Uh, it's okay. I mess it up all oh, the time. Just stumble all the time. My fault. <laughs> okay, AJ, a really good weekend if you're trying to get out and about. Temperature is tolerable, comfortable even. It's 84 right now. The Dow's great visibility compared to yesterday. This is night and day. Wind, oh yeah, it's windy through the gorge out of the northwest at about 22 miles per hour right now. But yeah, what a big improvement. Air quality also looking spectacular. Here's your view from the top of the Cascade Share, Mount Hood Meadows looking to the east. Uh, 60 degrees at the base. Uh, just a little bit of a dirty patch of snow left over right here. And that's about it. But air quality, fantastic. We still have our wildfires burning, of course. But look, you actually have a sliver a blue sky out there. Hey, we got some rain today in case you haven't heard already. It was three hundredths of an inch, so it was enough to measure. So we have officially broken that 51 day dry streak that we were on for Portland. So that's good news. Will we see more rain in the forecast? Yes, there is more rain in the forecast. We'll get to that in just a second. Uh, but look at some of the totals around the map. Of course, these are just your airport locations. There were plenty of locations in between airports that picked up a significant amount of rain. A lot of that for Eastern Oregon came from some of those thunderstorms. But look at Astoria picking up almost a, a quarter of an inch. Most of that fell overnight into those early morning hours. Three hundredths of an inch for us. PDX Vancouver, two hundredths of an inch. OK, so looking at our rainfall totals overall for the month, certainly. OK, we're seeing a little bit of a deficit, but we're only a few days into the month. But look at what is still significant, and that is the water year total that goes from October 1st to the end of September. We have a deficit of almost eight and a half inches. So are we going to make up for that before the end of September? Not likely at all. Current air quality, it's looking good, and that's no surprise thanks to that cold front coming through. One place where we're still seeing air quality suffer, and that's in the proximity to our wildfires, a jack fire right here, a bootleg fire right here. You can see the unhealthy air quality category. You head up towards Spokane, and you're seeing big improvements. It's not perfect yet, but still dramatically better uh, in the good category to moderate category and unhealthy for sensitive groups as you make your way up to the Canadian border there. Okay, so where is all the smoke going to go as our wind direction has changed at the surface? We'll see that uh, smoke head off to the south and out to the east, giving us a lot of good clearing as we get to uh, Sunday morning. What about our winds aloft? We want to find out will we have that high level haze like we did yesterday. So look at where the smoke is going as our winds aloft shift and they'll be coming mostly out of the west and then turning more northerly by the time we get to Sunday. We'll see a shift where most of that wildfire smoke is going to head over Nevada, California and also Idaho and over to the Rockies spilling right over into the upper Midwest. Still our folks downwind not getting much of a break from our wildfire smoke. OK, planner for tomorrow, partly cloudy, low 70s by noon, mid to upper 70s for the afternoon, mostly cloudy. And then we get into that slight chance to see a few sprinkles for us in the valley. That'll be Saturday night uh, at the coast. Also expecting a few sprinkles for you tomorrow, 62, 76 for us in the gorge up to 80, 88 Eastern Oregon with sunshine. Seven day forecast. Here's the big warm up by Tuesday. We're back to the 90s. Look at Wednesday through Friday of next week, all low 100s, and we're likely to stay in that upper range of the 90s by the time we get to the following weekend, too. And gosh, and that serious stuff, of course, again, when we see the temperatures get that high. Natasha, thank you.